He's the man behind some of the most iconic performances in film history, a face of American cinema for over six decades. Today, we explore the career of Jack Nicholson. With over 60 films and three Academy Awards, Nicholson's journey from New Jersey to Hollywood stardom is legendary. Born in 1937, Nicholson's early life was marked by family secrets. Believing his grandmother was his mother and his real mother was his sister, his life was a complex mix of identity and discovery. Originally aiming for animation, Nicholson studied acting and began taking roles in low-budget films in the 1950s. His breakthrough came in 1969's Easy Rider, earning him his first Academy Award nomination. The 1970s solidified Nicholson's status with films like Five Easy Pieces in Chinatown, showcasing his emotional depth. Then, his role in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest in 1975 won him his first Oscar for Best Actor. I want that television set turned on right now! In the 1980s, Nicholson delivered unforgettable performances. As Jack Torrance in The Shining, 1980, he terrified audiences, and as the Joker in Batman, 1989, he cemented his villainous charm. In the 1990s and 2000s, Nicholson delivered standout performances in A Few Good Men, 1992, As Good As It Gets, 1997, and The Departed, 2006, proving his enduring star power. Nicholson retired from acting in 2010, but his impact on film is undeniable. With three Oscars and a career spanning genres, Jack Nicholson is not just a star, but a cultural icon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content on Hollywood's greatest legends. Your football practice and say, yes, I'm going to be an actor. You don't, it doesn't do it that way. I probably really started thinking about doing it after I was doing it. And vaguely, when I was working at MGM in the cartoon department, a job which I got really mainly to observe movie making because I was sort of starstruck at that mm -hmm. time. Still am. You started acting in The Player's Ring in Los Angeles. Were they a good group? V very good group. Very, you would, a very good thing happened to me there. This is the first production that I actually worked on. I went to the readings. For, for two productions, they had two theaters and they'd read for two full productions, which two plays of any kind more or less will cover every actor in Hollywood who's not immediately working at that time or about to be not working. And I got to, saw every, got to see everybody read and that was very encouraging to me. I noticed, you know, almost no one read well and I thought, well, this isn't so bad, you know. Not such a huge mountain from that moment on. And I, I think it was a, a freak occurrence that an actor would get to see that in a professional situation with the same actors who were competing for the television shows and the films, for the most part, and get to suddenly see them all in that most naked of all acting of postures, reading for a part. It's, uh, it is the toughest thing to do, I suppose. And as a result of that, I always read very well.